Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She went from a registered nurse to becoming the face of tech with her multi-million dollar business ventures. Oh yes, and we can't forget, she also claimed her peach when she joined the cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Please welcome Tanya Sam. Yes! <laughs> Hello, my love. Be careful of the seat. Yes, please. Take your time. Take your time. Good Hello, my love. You. I always got to see you. It's so Just good to see you. You're gorgeous. You, you look are. beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Absolutely. You. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. Oh, well, let's get into well, it. Well, why not? Why not? <laughs> so over the weekend, you know, yes. we're always on Instagram. Even though when we're having a good time, we're still kind of scrolling through. <laughs> and we too. saw that you ran a 10K this weekend. Yes. You know, I like to say I ate a little pavement for breakfast. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was actually for a really great cause. It was for cystic fibrosis. So, you know, quick 10K from mm -hmm. Brookhaven to Buckhead. Yes. Oh, my. Yes. You know, why not on a Monday? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, we're happy to see that you're doing well because we do oh, know in June, you. you were in a, a horrific uh, car crash. And yeah. How are you feeling? How are things going for you? I am back to normal, better yeah. than ever. Good. It was it was a little jarring for sure. Yeah. Um, I thought I was fine because I walked away okay, right? Mm -hmm. And then about 24, 48 hours later, um, I started having some symptoms of internal bleeding. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Yeah. And I went to the hospital, so I was admitted for about two days oh, and yeah. had to take it easy for a while after that, but I am like fully recovered. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 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 Yeah. Well, of course, the last time you were here, you, you had just uh, done the reunion show. Or yes. You're, you're about the very to... first one. Right, yes. the very first one. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh, yeah. She's experienced a lot of these. How long, yeah. What was it? Was it everything that you expected? Was it more? Was it like... How'd you feel? You know, there's nothing like that out there. I mean, honestly, it's a small club of us who can sit up there and say they've gone through that. So um, it was intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was very, very intense. It took me a couple days to decompress afterwards. Mm -hmm. I will wow. absolutely admit I had to like puddle on my couch. Um, but it was good. You know, yeah. it's kind of like the necessary therapy to work through everything that had happened on the show. Yeah. Did you really work through it, though? I mean, do you, Truty, do you really, really work through it? I don't know. I mean, I know you know. Um, listen, we try to as best we can. And right. I feel like because of that, I have learned so much about myself. Mm. I, I've become much more assertive yeah. um, than I ever have been before. I'm very happy that yes. you've become assertive because I was a little nervous for you, honestly. I am nervous year. for me. I, I, I really, and, you know, and I know you You know, you were brought in to the show as, as Nini's, Nini's yeah. friend and then think Things kind of shifted for you yeah. all. Where are you today? Are you good friends now? Yes. Are you back on the We're right back track? back to it. And that's kind of good. what the sisterhood is about. So, you know, you understand. Yeah. And I have sisters. So you yeah. kind of roll through those phases of friendship. But not this bad. It, it, real yeah. sisters don't do it this bad. Like, well, you know. my sisters and I don't. You know, we're <laughs> right. kind of like, yeah. we're, there's always love at the center. But sometimes in making new friends like that, you've really got to learn people. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, a, you know, when I came on the show, they'd be like, this girl's a little quirky. Uh, yeah. you know? <laughs> it took a little minute for everyone to kind of figure out mm -hmm. who I am. And yeah. so I'm grateful now that we've had another season where yes. we can get to know each other yes. and everyone can understand like who I am. And you hang with a few of them outside yes. of the cameras too. Oh, for sure. Good, yeah. good. So y'all were having a hot girl summer down to the carnival in Toronto. We sure did. <laughs> yes. How did it feel being back home and do, oh my God, oh, look at oh, that. Man. Wow. This is tea Tanya. being spilled, y'all. Yes. Portia, look Tanya. at this. Yes. So what was, what was it like being, you know, back home in, in Toronto and then doing it with the ladies and you guys look fantastic. So I was just glad that I could, you know, have the opportunity to share mm -hmm. like my life yes. and taking them home to Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, so it was so much fun. Not to mention the fact like there's good music, yeah. West Indian food, like yeah. we danced in Ooh. the streets all day long in tiny little costumes. Yes. And that is getting your life, right? Yes. It, was, yes. it was so good. Yeah. It was so well, good. Someone else who's getting their life is uh, Portia Williams and Dennis. Yes. And we're really happy to see that they're back together. I know you yeah. guys are good friends. Yes. What's been some advice you've given her throughout when, when it was a little turbulence in the relationship? Stay the course. Mm -hmm. Stay the course. You'll have people who will tell you all sorts of things. Social media can be, you know, a really influential piece oh, of birds in the yeah. tea. Um, and just stay the course. Like, mm -hmm. you guys know what you have. Yeah. We know what you have. Yeah. And, like, we are your family around you. That's yeah. good. And yeah. you didn't try to come at her and, and, and tear her down when things were going. Oh, no. uh, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, Paul and I, because we're all friends. Paul yeah. and Dennis are friends. Portia and I are friends. Mm -hmm. So we were just there to be the supportive ones, to mm -hmm. be like, no matter what, 
like y'all are engaged yeah. and you just stay the course. Right, yeah. speaking yeah. of staying the course, uh, you are doing that in the tech space, of yeah. course. So talk to us a little bit about your new um, projects, Ascend Atlanta and Atlanta Startup Battle. Yeah, mm. so uh, as Director of Innovation and Partnerships at Tech Square Labs, I'm fortunate that I get to work okay. to you know, create programs that I'm really passionate about, mm -hmm. one of which is helping women and minorities, people of color, to build successful technology companies. Awesome. Yes. There's a lot of talk about there's not enough diversity in mm -hmm. technology. Um, and so I'm just glad that I can really help move that needle. So Absolutely. Right. the first one is a Ascend Atlanta. It's an incubator program for women, minorities, people of color who mm -hmm. are building technology that enabled companies. Um, it's three months and we basically help you learn all the business clues that you need to raise capital. Yes. Oh, wow. and build scalable companies. What did I say about a hundred thousand? Oh, I'm getting to that. I say oh, that. Oh, really? I need that for fifteen. The big seconds. money, big check. Yes. So, uh, Atlanta Startup Battle. The applications are open now. We are giving away a hundred thousand dollar investment Ooh. to the best company that pitches on stage at Atlanta Startup Battle on wow. October seventeenth. Nice. Go. Yes. There you awesome. go. Thank you for joining us today. If you'd like more information on the Startup Battle, go to AtlantaStartupBattle.com. <laughs> but if you're staying with us a full hour, ten is coming to the table. Oh, yeah. Yes, and the conversations yes. always continue at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Fantastic. Hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand. We start thinking about We've done it seven times. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We couldn't let Tanya go just yet because Tamika and I wanted to join in on the conversation too because we are greedy. Welcome to the table, <laughs> Tanya. I love it. I love it. We're greedy. Yeah. 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 Need to go around. Yeah. Right. Right. And I want to make sure I get this right when I ask you this question: Is it the Kapoor Center? According to a yeah. report by the Kapoor Center, less than half a percent of tech jobs are held by black women. Yes. That yes. is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is, why should black women own their own impact yeah. on the tech industry? Great question. Um, so I will say, for me, I really believe that technology is the future. Mm -hmm. Like Technology Absolutely. is eating into every little piece of business, mm -hmm. industry, enterprise, whether it's hair to you know how you shop. So I feel like we're really remiss if we're not involved in that. Mm -hmm. But part of it is that you know, for a lot of black women, because there's not a lot in the industry, they don't see a future for themselves in it. Mm. So I think representation is key. You know, and as long, and that's mm. part of why on Housewives I like to talk tech and be like, mm. I'm out there. And I get a lot of women that write me from all across the country being like, look, I'm the only black woman in a tech company in Minnesota. Wow. 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 Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for saying like there's more people out there like that. And so I just want everyone to understand there's a place for them in technology, whether mm. or not you can code, whether or not, you know, that's your talent skill. There's marketing. There's tons of jobs and roles in that sphere. We just have to see it envision it for ourselves and get involved. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I think. I'm like, am I yeah. techie and something? You're techie. <laughs> right. Like, you're techie. Yes. Like, and that's like trying to change that narrative of like only a certain subset yes. of people, like these Stanford grads that have PhDs, you mm. know, in computer science mm -hmm. are the only people in tech. Like this is not the truth. And this is how we have to get involved and like take a piece of that for ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to jump in. What is that called when, when children make up their own friends in their minds? Imaginary friends. Imaginary friends. <laughs> no, no, really, no, I was watching yes. CNN earlier and they said that children don't have imaginary friends anymore because they're taking to technology. It's like they don't use their imaginations wow. and yes. because everything is done for them yeah. through technology. Oh, wow. yeah. Mm. Wow. yeah, I can wow. see that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one mm. thing that I've noticed about you, Tanya, you really rally around women. That's really huge for you. I've noticed oh, that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. How important is it for you, although it's very difficult at time in the environment of uh, being a part of a reality show, yeah. you know, Trina's a part of the Brexit Family Values, I myself am a part of the Great table, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. How, but but in, and it can be difficult sometime, sometime. How important is it to you to have a sisterhood with the, the ladies of uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta? I mean, I love it. And this is one thing they kind of joke, they're like, oh, Tanya's trying to be friends with everybody or, you know, but mm. I really feel like at my core, I'm like the United Nations. I really want everyone to get <laughs> Along. Yeah. I do, yes. so I try really hard. And you know, that could be a fault or not. You know, I really am like a people pleaser mm -hmm. at heart, but I just really believe that we are so much stronger together. Yes, you know? yes, absolutely. Well, you have, um, of course, talked about tech and sisterhood, and you have not strayed away from talking about the issues that you and your fiance have with infertility. Yes. Um, mm. Tell us how uh, being vulnerable and being transparent has helped you, and how has he done in the process as well? So, you know, it's definitely a hard thing to talk about so mm -hmm. publicly, but 
I feel like there's such a message in, in it that extends to so many people because I had almost wish more people had talked about it with mm -hmm. me earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm 40 now and I'm trying to, we're trying to bank some eggs so that mm -hmm. we could have kids later. And this is, you know, a very relevant theme because women mm -hmm. are having children later, later in life. Mm -hmm. And we thought it would be easier because we've got all this medicine and technology mm -hmm. that yeah. can just fix everything. And, you know, biology is serious, yes, you know, you real. can't sometimes mm -hmm. escape it. So I like to have the conversation, to share it with more women, especially. My fiance has been incredible. I mean, we're both in it together, yes. trying to get to the same goal. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a nurse, so I don't mind giving myself the needles. Yeah. yeah. He's not a fan of that. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to hurt you. Um, but he's like, you know, emotionally so mm -hmm. supportive. Yeah. And I just, I like to speak on it to so many more women because oftentimes people are like, well, just pray on it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to use that prayer to take you to the doctor's yeah. office. To absolutely. fix it in a different right. way. Right? Yes, right. So I feel like bringing those conversations to the forefront has been helpful to so many other women as right, well. Right. Yeah. And your sister's expecting as well. Yeah, right your sister! Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my oh. sister there. So she, we are 11 months apart, so oh, we are wow. super close. Wow. And this is her first baby. We don't know if it's a girl or boy. Oh, yes. wow. So we're, so, I'm so excited. Yeah, like, you should be. I am so excited. Hi, little baby. Yes. <laughs> that's so awesome. Well, yes. You also had another life changing moment when yeah. you lost your mom when you were 12 years old. Yes. But with that, you are now serving on the board of directors of the nonprofit. Kate's Club. Yes. Let's talk about that. So Kate's Club is like near and dear to my heart because mm -hmm. my sister and I lost our mom when we were 11 and 12. And back then there was nothing out there for kids. I mean, I remember we went to like a church basement for like a day and sat staring. But Kate's Club is completely the opposite and it has been therapy to me in a way that I couldn't even imagine. Mm -hmm. We're a nonprofit organization that helps children and teens between the ages of five and there's 18. Kate, there's Kate. Yes, <laughs> who have lost a parent or sibling or loved mm -hmm. ones. And it's therapeutic play, it's recreational play, it's a fun and embracing environment for yes, these kids to laugh, it. cry. And it has just been instrumental to my healing and we help mm. so many kids. Um, we have a day camp, uh, sorry, a sleepover camp where we put 500 kids to camp this summer through two <gasps> yeah. sessions, it's all free. And you know, this is a really huge thing because one in 10 kids in Georgia have lost a parent or sibling. Mm. And mm. dealing with that and those repercussions can last a lifetime. Right. So we are really like changing lives here. Oh, so yes. if you're interested, katesclub.org. We have a memory walk coming up in November. Mm. Please check us out. We love, love, love to see you out there supporting, coming to our programs. Yes. Like, it is life changing. Mm. Yes, yes. It I know some, really some amazing yes. beneficiaries from that mm. great program. So thank oh, you. Yes. Speaking yes. of life Sorry. changing again. <laughs> Oh. I too have a fianchi <laughs> and I'm planning my wedding. So, are you segueing from fianchi to wife anytime soon? Huh? I Can we get the have scoop? Small planning details. This okay. is everyone's number one question really? on how to plan. And you know what? There's so much stuff going on in our life that, like, it's hard to sit down and plan. Mm -hmm. Like, from dealing with my eggs, which actually feels mm -hmm. like a ticking time bomb, mm -hmm. like, I gotta sort that out first, and then I've got startup battles and all yeah. this stuff. And, you know, the nice thing is, my fiance and I, we work together. So we spend pretty much, like, a lot of time 21 together. out of 24 hours a day yes. together. And sometimes at the end of the day, we're like, do you wanna talk about flowers? Or do you wanna talk about how we can <laughs> help more people build right. businesses? Right. So it's, it's, it's odd to a lot of people. Um, and sometimes we're like, yeah, we're just gonna lope. Yeah, figure it out. and you can do that. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. your choice. Yeah, that's your choice. We always say we feel very married. Yeah, yeah. the love is there. Yes. The love is there. Yeah, love have a good yeah. reception. Yeah. When is your date? Uh-uh. Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's a secret. Yes, yes. Well, thank you. I love it. Thank you, Tanya, for being so oh, transparent. Thank you. Absolutely. We love having you down to the circle. Be sure to follow her on Instagram at It's Tanya Time. And for more information on Tanya's tech events, go to AtlantaStartupBattle.com.